What's up? This is a video on how to play Shaking Hands by Focus Ring featuring Maisie and Toby. They're just going to be chilling here, but. Okay. There we go. So we're going to start in D, G, D, G, B, E tuning. Sounds like that. I'm going to start up on the um, 8th fret. Or I guess ninth fret. So you take your middle finger, put it on the top D string, and you take your index finger, put it on the eighth fret G string, and then you're gonna take your ring finger, put it on the ninth fret D string. Make this kind of triangle shape. So it sounds like that. You're gonna just be kind of using these top three strings for pretty much the whole time. Uh, but that's the first chord, so you're gonna go. I'm taking my pinky and putting it up on the 11th fret D string, the third one down. That's the first one. I sit in my room with my left hand holding your photograph. So it's kind of these weird Remo drive shaped chords. The stretch, you're going to go 2nd fret D string, 4th um, fret uh, G string and then sixth fret D string And those are kind of the two main chords for like the main part so you go I sit in my room with my left hand holding your photograph My right hand is holding the scissors I intend to use when I cut it in half You're gonna go back up to that first chord. Cause I don't. So I'm just taking that, um, basically just moving this over one fret. You can do that however you want, but I do. I start here and then I just bar it. So eighth fret, um, D string and G string, and keep, keep this on the ninth fret. What if I? So I'm moving it down to the sixth fret. What? If I was, it's that like that other stretch shape from the first chord. You just move that up to the fourth, sixth, and what was that? Eighth fret, um, D, G, and then D string. And you just go back to that other chord shape. What if I was wrong And I didn't need you not at all Not getting the words right, but whatever. Um, so this is what we have so far. I'm just going to start from the beginning. I sit in my room with my left hand holding your photograph. My right hand is holding the scissors I intend to use when I cut it in half. Cause I don't need you anymore. Yeah, I don't need you anymore. Alright, so from there. It's the same chord, but without your pinky here, I just switched to my uh, index and pinky. So it's D string on the second fret and G string on the fourth. These two. I'll bury the box filled with half sheets of paper. You're just moving your index over one. Bury the box filled with half sheets of paper. And then take this same shape um, up to the sixth and eighth fret. Uh, same shape. Turn myself back into the earth. So you're just moving from the 6th to 5th on the D string, but keeping your pinky there. Turn myself back into the earth. I'll bury the box filled with half sheets of paper. Turn myself back into the earth. Back to that first shape. Er, er, er. And you take your pinky from the 6th fret to the 5th fret on the 3rd G string. 
I'll bury the box filled with half sheets of paper Turn myself back into the earth I'll bury the box filled with half sheets of paper Turn myself back into the earth Earth And then back to the main part and that's literally it. He just repeats that for the rest of the song with different words. I sit in my room with my left hand holding your photograph. That's pretty much it. So one more time just to run through, just to show you the chord shapes. I sit in my room with my left hand holding your photograph. My right hand is holding the scissors I intend to use when I cut it in half. Cause I don't need you anymore. Yeah, I don't. The box filled with half sheets of paper Turn myself back into the earth I'll bury the box filled with half sheets of paper Turn myself back into the earth, earth. There you go And that's about it Have fun